So when we were talking about um, renting a car today to go to VidCon, yeah. I was thinking when I was in the airport flying uh, to Vegas from Boise last Sin time right. to, to the Sin City, you don't bring a baby to Vegas. Don't bring a baby to Vegas. That's why you don't bring a baby to Vegas. Well, there is this lady who is kind of standing next to me, and she had a baby also. The baby was probably like six months old. He was like this chubby little baby, and he was so cute. And so then I said, your baby is so cute. And the lady turned from like a happy face to like this like smelling poo face. Like It was like I said to her, can I stare at your baby while he sleeps? Like, she just thought I was, like, this creepy lady. Really? I'm, like, I'm like a normal amount of creepy. Not, a little, like... A little elevated, but not much. I'm just, like, a little bit you more said than normal You baby? Creepy. She's, like... Yeah, like, how dare you? Yeah, it was, like, I said, I will kidnap your baby and raise him to be my own. She's, like... Yeah. Ew. Why would she you not say that to you? me? I don't know. I, I mean... It's weird. Maybe. I've seen babies before, though, where I'm like, oh, you have a baby, and then they pull the blanket off, and I'm like, oh, oh. cute baby. Monkey. What? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, wow. I didn't know you could put a puppy, puppy? in What's up? a car seat. Yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> but you can't put baby on a car. So oh, do you no. love going to the mall? Yeah, I almost forgot where we were headed. I'll tell you just once well, good thing I mentioned, because otherwise we keep on driving. I dislike the mall and shopping more than no. I dislike tomatoes. I you love, love tomatoes. tomatoes. Oh, okay. Okay, you love it that much? It was a terrible analogy, Let's shop I'm sorry. For like an hour I'm not an analogologist. Let's go into every single store. Oh, I will I jump used off to work bridge. at this mall. I will jump off a bridge. When I worked at this mall, Find people would ask me off. for directions, and I would always give them the wrong one. Yeah, you know you're going to go to a dark, fiery place because of that, right? No, it was so Wasn't funny. there an old lady once that said, hey, where's she Stacey lived Penny? In shoe. No, okay. And you said downstairs across the mall, but it was actually like next door. No, well, I gave people she bad directions died. all the time she because died. I didn't even know where things were. So I just, away. It's I just sad, pretended actually. and I gave them directions and then they went there. But what I did do is this old lady wanted to take stairs. She didn't want to take an elevator. She didn't want to take an escalator. She wanted to take stairs. So I told her, oh, if yeah. you push the little red button on the escalator, on the escalator it'll, it, it it'll, turns into stairs. it'll stop and you can walk down it. That's so messed up. And she, no, that's nice. No, she probably got 86 from the mall. Nice. <laughs> I well, did that at New York, New York when I was a kid and I got 86. Apparently yeah, they don't keep Was it in 86? Not cool! It was probably 98. I wasn't even born in 86. Probably 98. What? It was not cool. What? Not cool. But, and um, so I showed so did her she where do the, it? I showed her where the red button was and she pushed it and her and her grandson went on their merry way and walked down. It like did the wah, 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 yeah. wah thing. Yeah. Were there other people on the escalator at the time? No. Because it's really strange to be on the escalator when it stops. You almost fall off You hit your huh? shins on the teeth in front of you. My little tiny baby sister, she hates escalators. She's scared of them. She's dumb. Well, it's kind of hard to put wheelchairs on escalators. Well, my mom told her when she was little, she would always sit on escalators. No, you can't do that. I know. And so my mom told her that that she would get like sucked into the part where the stairs go it down. It happened to someone. I've seen it. And, and so... Could pinch you, maybe. Pinch your bum. Yeah. And so... My mom told her that she was going to get sucked in through the, where the stairs go and then you're in like David Bowie's world where there's stairs everywhere. Right, right. And so now she's afraid of escalators and David Bowie. I would be. Labyrinth. I would be. Um, I think Adam Lambert would be a better singer if he was less David Bowie and more Freddie Mercury. Okay. I think he would be like yeah. legendary, but yeah. instead he's like so Bowie. -y. I don't like that. He needs to turn down the Bowie, turn up the Mercury. Yeah, like Bowie's a Bowie's good. It's fine. It's fine. But he is Bowie. You can't redo Bowie. No, no. It's, it's not. It's a crime against music and, and, and labyrinth. And labyrinth. And you're gonna go be friends with Jennifer Connelly and get mixed up in some bushes with some Muppets. 
that Jennifer Connelly? Yeah. Truth. Really? Truth. Like Drew Barrymore, she peaked when she was like eight. Yeah, her I can't career. handle her. her acting career. I can't handle her. Her acting career. If I ever saw Jennifer Connelly in real life, I'd karate chop her face off. What? And then I'd, I would block and then that karate I'd do, chop and kick you in the stomach. And then I'd do a roundhouse kick right to her stomach. No, but I've already blocked it and kicked you in the stomach. No, but I. But that's why I did a roundhouse because I'll be like, Ugh! and then I'll be like, no, but I you just grabbed your ankle on your and roundhouse. I, I just grabbed your ankle and broke your leg. Sorry, love you. Then I punch you right here. No, I don't and have like that. My fist would go all anymore. the way. No, I don't have one of those anymore. Up into your brain, and no. then I tickle your brain. <laughs> Not, no, you. And then you'd you fall over. You can't tee my bee. You cannot <laughs> tee my bee. And if you tee my bee, I swear to G O S H. I swear to G O S H. TYB, I'm gonna, you know, make sure you got a heck. Okay? Don't T my B. Don't T my B. Don't T my B. And then you'll be down on the ground laughing, and then I'll say Jennifer Conley. And, and, uh, and she'll and say, Yes. And she'll go, What? And then I'll poke her in the eye. Oh, don't. That's pee where her, her power e. source is. Don't pee her in her <laughs> ear. Don't pee. JC in her E. <laughs> That's so, where her power source lies. <laughs> she looks up to the Matrix every night in her eyeball. And Neo was like, Jennifer Connelly, you're almost as terrible as actor as I am. Who said that? Uh, Neo? Neo. <laughs> Is that right? Is that yeah. name? Yeah. Jennifer Connelly. That's like, actually so oh, good. <laughs> No, I think it's good, but don't do it again because whenever you do it again, you ruin it. Jennifer Connelly, you you're almost as bad of an actress as I am. Stop. I'm an actor, though. Stop. <laughs> I'm, I, I liked him on Speed and I liked him on Bill and Ted's Excellent on Speed. Adventure. I saw him on Kane once on Las Vegas Trip when I was like 15. <laughs> but I haven't seen him on Speed. No, the movie with um, Sandra Bullock. Oh, I don't watch those kind of movies. I do. It was one of my favorite movies when I was eight years old. Your parents showed you some crazy movies. <laughs> now, when I was eight years old, I was watching Anna Green Gables and we see oh, silly songs. See, that's sick. Sillyville. Your parents are sick for <laughs> making you watch that. <laughs>